I just finished piecing all the pieces for my uh, pillows together. I've got two, two tops done. And I have my stencils drawn. I drew both of these. These are uh, two of my designs. So I, I have these done. This one's going to be for my husband's side of the bed and this one's going to be for mine. If your husband sleeps on this side of the bed and you sleep on this side of the bed, you're gonna wanna reverse the images so that they're looking at each other. Uh, you know, you don't want to be giving your husband the cold shoulder, right? So uh, make it so the pillows will be looking at each other, looking into each other's eyes. Uh, I plan on cutting these stencils out, and this is, I stretched her face just a little bit so it was the size of his. I stretched the image that I drew. So this is, this is uh, the one before, and I just felt like her face was a little too small, so I stretched it just a little bit bigger, and when I trace it on, I'm gonna just hand draw that edge right there and hand draw this area over here because it's kind of fallen off the page. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Make sure you stretch the image to the size that you want it when you print these images off my website. Um, and then I'm going to take this, cut it out, uh, trace it, uh, take iron-on backing, iron it on the back of this fabric, and then trace the image on top of it, cut it out, and then I will iron it on top of the pillow. And then around the edge of the silhouette, I plan on using a white embroidery thread just to make the image pop. And who knows, maybe I'll add something else. I don't know, I never know until I finish it. So that's the next step for me. I just wanted to show you so you knew where to go from here. All right, uh, make sure you check in to the everythinghousewife.com. Uh, I've got lots of fun stuff this October season. Thanks for watching.